It's getting late. Where to now? Place where the space station stores dangerous experimental results? Why would anyone want to know that? Wait, did someone send you here to try to get things out of me? I'm not doing any private business on the space station. I have absolutely no knowledge of any special hiding places. And I certainly haven't sold any old junk rare treasures or discarded curios or anything like that. You're so cute! Can I get an autograph? So, I really can't say anything about her. Autograph? What are you on about? You're freaking me out! <sighs> I won't talk to you if you don't tell me why you're here. I'll solve the space station's problems. So, I really can't say anything about her. Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts if you know that already. The space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. And now out of nowhere, there's a bunch of little creatures popping up. If you want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Then you'll understand. Seems to be the place. Keep at it. Hey, guess what I got my hands on? Word on the street is that this is the downgraded version of Ron May's life cultivation formula. It says. 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of starquake, and a few drops of poisonous liquor for Madame Yu Ting Tu. Rumor has it that it once created a talking chair. Not a particularly intelligent one, but boy, did it have a sharp tongue. They dismantled it and used it for firewood. Can you believe it? Let's give it a shot, shall we? First things first, we need to pick up the ingredients. We need to add some other good stuff in, but don't go overboard. Mm. And now we mix them together. <laughs> Wait! It says on the recipe, Ron May makes different expressions when nurturing life. Yikes. Take a look at what you just cultivated. Mm. 
molten cheese tart is the best. Its outlook is infectious. Its positive mood has influenced us all. What's our slogan again? One, stop complaining, change your attitude, and use the delicious molten cheese tart to stop the flow of negative energy. Two, energize yourself, increase your capacity for action, and walk on the path of a molten cheese tart's absolute conviction. Our creed, molten cheese tart is the best. Oh, praise be! You don't know? Molten Cheese Tart is Madame Ron May's top fan! This is how it preaches. Those who offer their love are expressing admiration and affection for Miss Ron May! Oh, let me tell you something. Mr. Scrooge's followers are all very logical, but they're just awaiting the arrival of the mechanical aristocracy. Hm. Since you're so interested, I'll tell you how to secure an audience with the honorable molten cheese tart. You'll need to work hard to get there. You need to plaster hearts wherever Madame Ron May has been. If you're sincere enough, the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart will show itself. I heard Madame Ronmay is very picky when it comes to snacks. Uh, do you know what her favorites are? I don't know about her, but I love fermented herring. So, I really can't say anything about her. Did I ask about your favorites? Also, that's disgusting. What's wrong with you? Ron May likes to listen to the space station radio during her research. Ah, some of us younger researchers are her super fans. We're always scanning different frequencies to find out what her tastes are. Do you know her favorite tunes by any chance? Mm, no idea. I just listen to comedy skits. So, I really can't say anything about her. As expected. 
You look like you belong in a comedy skit yourself. Ron May, member 81 of the Genius Society, a resounding name in science and the veritable epitome of life form cultivation. Researchers here have heard so much about her for so long. But once she arrived on the space station, she just took over everything. And what did Madame Herta do? Absolutely nothing. Never fear! The Galactic Baseballer is here! I can't even say that? Um, so this is the little life form Run May made? I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. <gasps> what are you frozen in place for? Oh, you don't understand the honorable tart. That's okay. No worries for situations like this. We've specifically concocted a synesthesia beacon. Wakaka, I'm a genius. A genius among geniuses. That was way too risky. Oh, Molten Cheese Tot says Madame Ranme has finally recognized my ingenuity. Molten Cheese Tot says, does Madame Ron May recognize me as a masterpiece? <coughs> Molten Cheese Tot says, Madame Ron May still has not recognized me as a life form that passes the requirements. I need to work harder. Oh, such an enthusiastic molten cheese tart. <coughs> There's a kind of attachment reserved for the creator. To the world, you are but one person. But to me, you are the entire world. Oh, Madame Ranme. Hey, you! Yes, you! Don't you have anything you want to say to Molten Cheese Tart? You should at least express how you would like to follow Molten Cheese Tart. We wouldn't want to mistake you for an agent of gray bean paste, would we? You heartless dessert! I almost forgot. I can't say anything about Run May. You! Shh! Quiet! Oh, the honorable molten cheese tart may have a crispy exterior, but deep down inside, it's incredibly sensitive and delicate. It's working so hard just to get Madame Ron May's attention! You see, the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has always been fighting against gray bean paste in terms of flavor. The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart is a firm believer that people's lives need to be optimistic.
They both hope to receive Madame Ron May's recognition and have been working so hard. You need to call it the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart. Mm, it's genuinely puzzling. Despite Molten Cheese Tart's remarkable qualities, why hasn't Madame Ron May acknowledged it? It's clear that it yearns for her love. Love from the creator to her creation? Familiar love? Doesn't sound right. Romantic love? Definitely not. I don't know. Expecting me to understand love is like asking me to map the farthest reaches of the universe. Remember, as long as love is your compass, you're on the right track. And in the wise words of the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart, Love must be shouted from the rooftops. That, that depends if the Honorable Tart agrees to it. <laughs> oh? The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has agreed. It's getting late. Where to now? You're here. Herta called Skrulem and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. And now, I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. 
I don't want her to, to worry herself over these frivolous matters, even though she probably wouldn't care anyway. Just in case, I want someone who will be on my side. In other words, you. Help me. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you, don't pry too much, and keep your expressions in check. Alright, let's go. You're here too? Looks like you two have become quite friendly. It's good to see you, madam. Affirmation. This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Though you weren't invited, I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. Let me get straight to the point. I think it's time to find another partner for the simulated universe. You wish to kick Steven out? No, of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Oh, whatever. Look, I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have a chance to be involved in this decision-making anymore. Question. Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Yes, a fifth genius. The reason for our gathering is clear to everyone present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the answer? No one can refuse the secret of the eons. Not even Xandar will definitely get a response. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? be great! Hey, Lord of Silence, are you listening? I'm member number 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite some time. Probability, member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. Hard pass. Given Dr. Primitive's shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers, the IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal free. What about you, Chingtu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? Is she still alive? Can we ask her to leave if we are to discuss this topic? The process will be long and boring. There's no need to take up other people's time. Of course! You brought her in after all. It's up to you. All right, let me walk you out. Seems like a programming error. Oh, this fragment of Ron May. Have you seen it in the simulated universe before? It's probably an isolated glitch. Hmm, fine. I'm 
used to turning a blind eye to these things. It makes life easier. I am curious, though. Are you gonna keep it, Rane? <laughs> I probably will. Records indicate she likes this occurrence. All right, I agree. As long as it helps you with your research, you can do whatever you want. Come along. I'll see you out. What's wrong? You're not leaving. Depends on who they are. The air in the space station has a pleasant quality. Affirmation. Knowledge flows within it. I will stay for a while longer. Lady Asta has recently expressed concerns regarding disturbances on the space station. Conclusion. Extended observation is necessary. It appears I was overthinking things. Impulsive behavior is pretty characteristic of her, after all. Thankfully, it was just a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. I see that you've recovered the life form in the Master Control Zone. Thank you. Well done. I was simply being overly cautious. It is a habit of mine. Apologies. There are some things that I must tell you now. If I wait for the meeting to finish, then it might be too late. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. There's more than just one, and some are stored in a sealed zone. Herta uses that place to welcome visitors from across the stars, or to welcome members of the Genius Society. However, due to the Legion's invasion, it is no longer open to the public. And now my headache is stored there. She gave me permission and said no more. I'm giving you my access card. Give me your hand, and I'll input your fingerprint into it. Stay vigilant, Assistant. Should you come across a threat you can't handle, just alert me. I'll come to your aid no matter what. Remember, there is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone. That's where my headache is stored. Once you're back, come find me on the railway platform. Then you'll understand everything.